It's problem number 12 from the 2012 AP Calculus exam. Non-calculator question here. And they tell us to use a substitution. So we're going to let u equal the square root of x. We then want to figure out how this substitution applies to the definite integral from 1 to 4 of e to the square root of x over the square root of x taken with respect to x. Uh, which of that, which of these expressions is going to be equal to that definite integral? So when you do a u substitution, you need to figure out what the relationship between du and dx is. So when you take the derivative of the square root of u or u to the 1 half, you end up with this. If you clean that up a little bit, simplify it, you end up with 1 over 2 times the square root of x. So the easy way to figure out the relationship between du and dx is to solve du dx equal to this for dx. So if I multiply this 1 by dx, I get dx over here but it would still be divided by 2 square root of x. So I want to bring that over here with the du by multiplying by it. So when I build my new expression inside of my integral, I'm going to have e to the u, since I want to put u in place of the square root of x. I left this as square root of x only because it was a little bit easier for me to see how the cancellation was going to happen between this that replaced the dx and what was previously in that denominator. So I left that alone to aid in this cancellation. I did pick up this factor of 2 in my new integral. And if you look at your options, there are several of them with that factor of 2 in there, uh, A, B, and C. And it is super tempting to try to pick choice B. And this is a question that's really easy to get correct as long as you realize how this notation works. When you change the variable within the integral from dx to du, as we have just done, the limits of integration also need to go through that same change. They need to change from the original variable, which are x's, right? So the differential here is dx, meaning these are assumed to be values of x. We need these values on our new integral to be values of u. So you see the, the option that we're going to go with is choice C, but the easy way to transition those limits of integration, this is the x value at the upper limit of 4. Well, if I do 4 to the 1 half power or square root of 4, I get my new upper limit of integration that is now a u value. And then I do the same thing with the lower limit. So I toss 1 in place of x, x to the 1 half, 1 to the 1 half, square root of 1 gives me my new lower limit of integration.